is everywhere the classroom on internet movies gossip in society and everywhere you will find that indians are sitting for an hours and listening to their gurus without even getting irritated without even getting anxious such a such a peace so this thing is already in our society but i suppose we are losing it due to some other factors we'll discuss this factor in our lecture but again to make it realize that how important is listening let me show you one video it's comedy interesting you watched it in yes minister uh, saturday also uh, video is about the minister and the things and uh, you know with excitement and enthusiasm you want to cut all the uh, expenses that the government is doing to reduce the deficit okay now one minister one union minister or like a union leader came to meet him now there is a comic situation between them just let's take a look at it. <laughs> we're very disturbed <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, yes, yes. I would like to see the minister. Uh, do you have an appointment? My name's Ron Watson. I'm the general secretary of the union of civil service track. Now, let me give you the background because I've started in between. Uh, minister is waiting for some other person. He is waiting for a another minister. He don't know that uh, the person who is coming is a union leader, and the union leader come unannounced, uninvited. Now there is a conversation because. he is reducing expenditure on the front of that uh, that area of transport minister okay now this uh, union leader of transport comes and uh, because he has come uninvited he forced himself into the room and uh, now he want to have a conversation now the minister is he is not aware, uh, aware that uh, here uh, the union leader has come he is thinking that some minister has come now what happen when you do not listen to the other person and sport and associated government work uh, yes mr watson we are very disturbed about rumors of cutbacks and redundancies affected well, our members like very much sorry, I'm sorry mr watson you can't see the minister now you must have an appointment look uh, uh, phone me tomorrow well, why can't i arrange it now but, uh, i'm sorry oh rick really? oh, all right uh, mandy see if you can make uh, an appointment for mr watson to see the minister next week next week uh, mr brough yes we're expecting mr brough now oh when's it due to used to oh well we'll just have to cancel it for today then Yes, yes, I'll tell him. Goodbye. Sorry to keep you. Now about your appointment. Uh, when would be convenient? The uh, meeting's cancelled then. Yes. Right. So I can see him now. Oh no, I'm afraid not. You see, oh, uh, would you excuse me just a moment? Yes. Uh, no, he's not here. Well, um, he's gone over to the whips office actually. Well, would you like the extension? Oh. Uh. Remember, minister is waiting for some other person. is waiting for some other minister because he wants to talk about the reducing of expenses in government but the union leader has come instead of that mr brough and uh, no, mr groves had to cancel the meeting oh. my name's ron watson oh, i thought you could get here instead anyway uh, mr watson oh thank you now mr um, uh, watson mr watson before we start this one thing i must make absolutely clear this must not get out If the unions were to get to hear of this, <laughs> all hell would be let loose. Oh yes. Of course, there'll be redundancies. You simply, you simply can't <laughs> slim down a giant bureaucracy like this without getting rid of people. Ultimately, a lot of people. Why don't you be holding discussions with the unions first? We'll go through the charade of discussions. <laughs> But you know what trade unions are like: thick as two short planks and bloody minded. <laughs> All of them. Oh, pretty well. Good Lord, you should know. All they're interested in is poaching each other's members and getting themselves on the telly, and they can't keep their big mouths shut. What about uh, drivers and transport service staff? First to go. Good God, we waste a fortune on cars and drivers, and they're all on the fiddle. <laughs> Because as I was trying to explain, I'm not Mr. Brough's deputy. I'm the general secretary. Of the Union of Civil Service Transport, <laughs> an associated government. <laughs> oh, I have redundancies for my members. <laughs> well, I, 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 I didn't. All I meant. For... Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, uh, what happened? 
and you can see the blunder which could happen if you think that you are smart enough always and you can impress people. The minister was trying to impress him, the minister was trying to talk to him, but without listening. So listening, of course, it seems obvious activity, but it could lead to a major, major blunder. Okay. Now, come to the next point. Why we are listening, first of all? You know, listening, we are doing because we want to understand things. Now, there are presentations, seminars, there are sort of speeches, happens. But we should always ask you a question when we are sitting and listening to the person. We should not ask this question that what he is saying. We should ask instead that what he is trying to say. And second question is, why is he saying it? Like reading. Suppose if you are reading a big article, if you are reading a book, it happens if it's of around 200, 300 pages. After reading it, you can't completely remember what you have read. Each and every point, it's very difficult to remember. Daily I read books. What I do is, I always try to go, what is the central theme of the book? What writer is trying to say? In the same way, when the person is telling you something, you should not you know, get confused with the examples, with the analogy, uh, uh, with the you know, stories he is telling in support of his argument. You should always try to catch the argument or the central theme which is trying to explain. And that is the first part of responsibility that you must have as a listener. If you are not catching that central theme, you are missing something. It happens most of the time in class also when I am giving lecture or when another teacher is giving. After completing this lecture, when we ask to a student, they could give the examples, they could give the facts which the teacher has quoted. But they could not tell the central idea. So keep in mind, when you are listening, always try to go to the central theme and always try to find out what the person is trying to say, not what the person is saying. And second is, why is he saying it? Is the important location has arrived? Or the theme has become so important? As I told you in the beginning, that listening. Why I am telling? Why I'm talking about listening? So always try to think, why this presentation? Why this lecture? Why this speech today? What has come up? What is so urgent has come up that he is giving this speech today? Okay, let's move on.